Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about something very special, but also maybe a little bit sad, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video. Planet Zoo is coming to console, which means that console players are finally going to be able to get their hands on an amazing game. However, it also means likely that this is it for DLC and support of the game. So until we talk a little bit further about this, let's just jump in and take a look at the announcement trailer. Now, Frontier was kind enough to send me some information so that I could prepare this for you on the announcement day. So as always, thank you so much, Frontier. But here's what I know. Planet Zoo, the console edition, will be available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. The console edition will be coming to these consoles on March 26th. And you can pre-order the game now to get three exclusive animals when the game does launch. That being the Thompson's Gazelle, the Pygmy Hippo, and the Komodo Dragon. Now, in regards to what this game will actually launch with updates, DLCs, things like that, yes, Planet Zoo, the console edition, will launch complete with over four years worth of improvements. 15 free feature updates and numerous quality of life improvements from the PC edition. Free update 16 and the third anniversary animal will also be coming to the console edition at a later date. Now it does look like in terms of the 14 DLCs from the PC version, these will be coming to console after launch, containing over 80 different animal species, 15 campaign scenarios, and over 2,000 additional scenery pieces. Now, I wasn't really creating content at the level that I am now when Planet Coaster moved to console. I'm not entirely clear on if DLCs will have to be purchased or they'll just be released for console or how that will work, but it does sound like whether free or paid, you will have access to the 14 DLCs from the PC version at a later date after the console edition launches. 
Now, main differences between the console edition and the PC edition. So the Planet Zoo console edition has been designed to deliver an authentic Planet Zoo experience with intuitive gamepad controls and powerful creative features all from the comfort of your couch, your sofa. To bring the ultimate zoo simulator to console, we have revisited the user experience to create a gamepad accessible experience from the ground up. If you still prefer mouse and keyboard, Planet Zoo Console Edition will be launching with mouse and keyboard support on your console. To ensure smooth performance as your zoo grows, Planet Zoo Console Edition features a zoo complexity meter. This meter increases as you expand and add to your dream zoo. So it sounds like they might be giving you like a meter of how many pieces. I'm really curious. I have not yet finished reading this kind of press kit release thing that I got sent. If there is in fact a piece limit, because that was a major point of contention with Planet Coasters console edition. Now I understand maybe why they have to do it so that the game can handle playing on a console, things like that, but they haven't said outright at least yet if that's exactly what it's talking about or not. So those of you that know better than me that were more involved or maybe played the Planet Coaster uh, console edition can let me know because I, I don't actually know that. Moving on to the workshop, will you be able to use workshop items on your console? Yeah, absolutely. Planet Zoo Console Edition will feature the Frontier Workshop, which allows players to share zoos and blueprints with the rest of the Planet Zoo console community. The Frontier Workshop will feature console cross-platform support, allowing the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox console players to share their creations with one another. Now that doesn't actually specifically mention like PC to console uh, uh, compatibility, so I'm not quite sure, like I have a lot of stuff up on the workshop that you can use in your own zoos on PC, but I'm not quite sure if that transfers to console or not. I imagine maybe not. So maybe it's just going to be a console specific workshop, um, in which case I'm gonna have to build some stuff and get some stuff up there for everybody to use. Now, will the animal market be cross-platform with Planet Zoo Console Edition? Unfortunately, no. Trading through the animal market will only be possible with players on the same platform that you're playing. So PC can trade with PC like they are now, PlayStation 5 can trade with PlayStation 5 and Xbox with Xbox, so on and so forth. Um, however, you'll be able to share and download blueprints with other players. Oh, okay, that answers the question then. Across console platforms using the Frontier Workshop. So it sounds like at least PlayStation players can share with Xbox players, but I'm not quite sure if either can share with PC players. Again, I would think maybe likely not. There will be three different versions of the console edition for Planet Zoo. Uh, the first being just the base game at $49.99 US. Then we have the deluxe edition at $59.99 and then the ultimate edition at $119.99. So what is included in the deluxe and the ultimate editions? The Deluxe and Ultimate Editions of Planet Zoo Console come complete with the following bonuses. The Deluxe Edition includes the Deluxe DLC featuring 16 additional animals and two additional scenarios. And the Ultimate Edition includes the Deluxe DLC and obviously the base game featuring 16 additional animals and two additional scenarios. But it also includes the Season Pass featuring 14 future DLCs containing over 80 different animal species, 15 campaign scenarios, and over 2,000 additional scenery pieces. So it sounds like the ultimate edition is how you can purchase the base game and all of the content that was included in the PC edition. So again, that one's going to be $119.99 in uh, US currency. Uh, that's quite a lot, but it is... 14 DLCs, so it is quite a lot of content as well. Now, I don't believe you get all of that on launch. Um, I think the DLCs are coming at a later date, uh, but again, I'm not quite sure about that one. And then of course you can pre-order now. So you can go on your platform of choice, whatever console you have, 
visit your store, uh, whatever the digital store is for that, and you can pre-order it there. So then scrolling down, it does have actually a little bit more about the Ultimate Edition, and it does sound like the DLCs come at a later date because it says uh, with the Ultimate Edition, you'll get everything included in the base game and the Deluxe Edition, plus a season pass, which means you'll get future access to a selection of 14 DLCs. Um, so it does sound like you just purchase them now and then you get access to them later again. Not super familiar how this process went with Planet Coaster, but those of you that are familiar with that probably already know all the answers to the questions that I'm asking. But yeah, there you go. As I kind of hinted to in the beginning of the video, I am excited that this is coming to console. I know that there are a lot of players that are console specific players and that just don't like playing on a PC or aren't able to play on a PC. So I think the game coming to console is really going to expand the player base uh, quite a bit. However, it does also make me sad because usually, or I should say when Planet Coaster went through this, that means that that's it for DLCs. Now, will we see like one more? I didn't go through and actually count the number of DLCs that were released as of right now. Um, but either way, it means support to the game is coming to an end and we aren't going to get a whole lot of brand new content if any. So that also does make me pretty sad because as you know, Planet Zoo is the game that I launched my channel with and it is a game near and dear to my heart, a game that I still play to this day. What is it? Four years later or something like that. It's insane. It's crazy. It's it's a game that I have sunk many, many hundreds of hours into uh, and will continue to play. So I don't know, a bittersweet moment. But what do you think? I didn't really see anything in the trailer that was like new or or anything like that. It just looked like it was all, you know, PC to console, that kind of thing. So I'll be excited to get my hands on this and play. I will plan on making some content uh, specific to the console edition and going over any other news or anything like that that we do see come out. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like and that way you don't miss out on any of that future content. And let me know what you think down below. Until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.